hi friends welcome to my channel technical basic so in this video I'm going to tell you that how you can do the mass meal apart from that entire thing I'm going to inform you that you can do how you can configure your mail ID in Outlook and how you can easily do the mass mail if you are doing marketing so this gonna to really helpful for you because you can easily do the marketing and you can mail uh, or you can do the mass mail uh, by seeing this video so here I'm going to cover entire thing and also I'll tell you the basic step that we generally forget and we don't able to configure our mail ID so I'm going to cover entire thing so let's see you can see my desktop screen here I will cover the entire thing that how we gonna to process and how we can configure our mail ID and how we, we can do the mass mail even I'll show you with in this video so stay tuned and uh, you can see that this is my mail ID and I'm going to open the account so you can see my channel account here and uh, I'm going to select the security so this I'm doing because first what I'll be doing is that I'll configure this mail ID in Outlook and from Outlook I'll send or I'll show you that how you can make the mass mail so here you have to select the option of security on your mail account and uh, you can see that you will get the option of less secure app access what we have to do is we have to open this it means we have to on that here you can see that it's off so we have to make it on so this is our first step before configuring an email ID so here you can see that it's on now our next step is that we'll go to our gmail so it means we have done our first step and uh, second what we'll have to do you will see the setting option we will select this setting option now click on see all setting next here you can see the forwarding and pop IMAP option we have to select this and here you can see that I have already enabled this because I'm using this mail ID in doing mass mail so here you will find if you have your own mail ID you have not configured that yet so you have to first do it enable and also if you want you can do this pop for all email you can enable this and you can make these changes you can save these changes so only these two things that we should do before configuring the mail ID so I'm going to the outlook that I have installed in my laptop so here I'll select the tool option so this is here we will you know configure the mail ID I'm going to select the tool option and here you will find the account setting option now you can see that there's no mail ID is configured yet so I'll configure this mail ID I'll click on new now I'll select the manually configure ser server setting or additional server type I'll tick on it and click on next again next and here anything you can mention or the name of your channel and uh, name of that you have mentioned or your mail id you can mention here so let's say my channel name is technical basic so here i'll mention the same name Oh, it's yes. 
yes i have given the name and uh, i'll use my mail id that is mentioned here my technical basic at gmail.com so i'll put the same mail id here yes you can see that i've added my mail id and here i will select the pop 3 option you can select imap but as per the imap and pop the setting will get changed so here i'll you know add the incoming mail server that needs to be i have selected pop so i will write this and in outgoing mail server i will select smtp dot gmail dot com and here again i'll add the gmail id and now what the password of my this mail id i will add that so I'm adding my mail ID password here and go to the more setting option here you will have to click on outgoing server we will click on this only we have to tick here then we will go to the advanced option we will have to tick this box and here as you can see that we have to select these outgoing server and here we have to select these things so as we are configuring the gmail id then it will be 465 we have to set this and we'll have to select this ssl so the this setting we have done and this is a default value 995 make it ok then test it that our setting is correct then it will show you the complete you can see it's a completed so um, I have successfully added this mail ID and you can see it's easily configured only the basic step you have to follow that I've informed you so any Gmail ID you can configure here and if you want to know about that how you can configure your uh, cloud ID or Outlook ID you can comment me and accordingly I'll you know tell you that how you can add and I'll tell you the basic steps so you don't need to worry if you want to know that please do comment me and if you like this video please also comment me and share this video as well so we have to close this now click on next as we are done with our configuration and setting I think there is little network issue so basically these are the you know simple steps that we have to do and now I will tell you that how you can do the mass mail as well if you're doing the marketing so that's really gonna to help you out so you can see that the mail ID is added here if you want you can click on send and receive you can see that it is showing completed you can see that we can easily send a mail and receive the mail from here so one more thing like if you want to no, if you want to see actually it's working so what you can do you can do the mass mail from here and this these mail will also show on your gmail id so once you finish with the mail mass mail he, from here you can check the you know check from your gmail id as well 
so here it is a little bit network issue so you can see that uh, this is this step let me um, it's already done so it will be taking some time as we have configured it so I'll show you that how you can do the mass mail and I'll tell you that I have a format that I'll use as I need to mail it let me uh, take this format to show you so what I'll be doing is that I'll open the word and here let's say I'm going to send a mail to the 25 people and what I have a uh, format that I'm I want to mail and this is I have mentioned hello and these the word having some filters also that you can use so like if you want to mention the name particular name of the person so here in word you'll be getting most of the option from where you will fix that and you will mention the name and in the inverted comma so accordingly you can mention and you can select the filter from here so if you're interested into that I'll tell you I'll clear you that also so here is I have to use the same format for everyone so I'm going to do the mass mail for 25 people so I'll select this mailing option here I will get the start mail merge then I'll see the option of uh, step by step mail merge you can see I have got this table here I'll select this email message then go to the next again I have to select the recipient from here so click on browse where you kept the mail you can go there like I have the mail list in sheet third I'll click on it click on ok it means in Excel you have to keep the list of the mail uh, whom you want to target and whom you want to mail next and complete the merge next this electronic mail let's say I want to write this subject online digital marketing that I've done so you can see now I'll select this from it means I have kept the mail from second row to 25 or 26 like from second row it will be from second row to 26 so I'll be having 25 mail in the list click on ok so let's see let's see what's happening you can see that here I'm getting the outlook and list is filling with the entire mail that I've selected and you can see that here it's the mail list is decreasing it means the mails are sending from this mail ID so if you want to check it you can also check it from your gmail id that i'll show you and here you can see that mails are sending from here i don't need to do anything and easily i have selected the recipient from like 1 to 25 and they are in the list and you can see the mails are going accordingly as per the list so if you want to see this i'll show you in the mail as well
so it's all done let's see in mail id so here you can see just now it's a uh, 6 49 pm you can see all the mails are sent that i've sent to the person so this is the best way you can use to do the mass mail and if you are getting an issue you can tell me or you can comment me and if you like this video and if you find this easy to do the pass mail and the configuration then please hit the like button and also please share this video if anybody else is facing the same problem so they will get the solution from this video i will see you in the next video please do comment and give the thumbs up take care